what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki guys and today guys I'll show you how to manually update your PS4 from whatever low firmware you have it on to firmware 4.05 now this is for people who wants to do the the exploit so if you want to do the, this exploit go ahead and follow this video so let's go ahead and get started first thing let's go over to the wululu.net website so now that you're on the wululu.net website I'll also leave the link in the description where you guys can go ahead and get all these information right here so right now we want to go and download the firmware 4.05 and to do so you have to download it from right here so right click and open it into a new tab now on this page guys is the softpedia website so right down here you'll see download sony playstation 4 firmware 4.05 so go ahead and click on that once it take you to this page now guys go all the way down and you will see download sony playstation 4 firmware so just click download and this page will pop up so you can go ahead and download from any one of the source but I'll use the top source then it will take you to this page just give it time and your download will start automatically so here's my download I'm gonna cancel it because I already have the file so once you have done downloading the file go back over to wululu.net and you need to download winmd5 check some tool and what this tool does now guys you have to check the firmware that you just downloaded just to make sure that it's the right firmware just to make sure that it's 4.05 and they also said it right here that you have to be extremely careful so you doesn't download the incorrect version of firmware so let's go and right click now that we're on the winmd5 um, website go ahead and download it right here so once that's done let's go over to the desktop and I'll show you how to use these file so right here I have the win MD5 and I have the PS4 update so what you want to do is extract this one and then inside that folder you want to go ahead and run the MD5 so once you get this this little um, um, box up here go ahead and browse for the update bin on your desktop and here's my update bin so click open and right now you have to verify the the update been called and to do so you have to go back to wululu.net website and here is the checksum code it says right here the ps4 checksum code um, firmware 4.05 so just copy this and paste it right here so go ahead and delete delete this now paste it right there now click on verify and there you go it says that it's a match and it compares the original file with the current file numbers and it's a match so click OK then close this down now go back to your desktop and what you need to do now you need to create a folder and call that one PS4 all caps then inside that folder you need to create another folder and call it update all caps now inside the update folder you need to drag and drop the ps4 um, update dot pub inside that one so go inside and double check that it is there now go back out and now copy this folder to your USB stick So once it's done remember that your USB stick should be FAT32 so go ahead now and eject your USB stick 
Now let's bring up the PS4. Okay, so go ahead and plug your USB stick inside your PS4. I am using the right port on the PS4. So now let's go and prepare the PS4. So follow my step and you need to do these things so that the PS4 doesn't take all the updates from Sony. So go all the way over to settings and the first thing you need to do is go to network and you need to disable connect to the internet. Press circle and go back on. Then go to power savings, power save settings. Then go to set features available in rest mode. Then you need to disable this, stay connected to the internet. Press X. Now press circle to go back out. Then go to system. Then go to automatic downloads. Then right now you should only disable um, install automatically and system software update file but I would recommend disabling everything right here now go back out and I will show you that my PS4 is on 3.55 right now okay so now that you have seen that let's go back out and let's go all the way up to system software update and there you go my PS4 has now detected my USB stick with firmware version 4.05 so that's how you update your PS4 manually guys also keep in mind that this update is only for people who wants to update to 4.05 for the exploit slash jailbreak but if you don't want to do the jailbreak just go ahead and update to whatever you want so thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video Oh,